All right, so we're gonna take a look here at uh, Charlie's first visit into the church. Uh, the church is called Your Belinda Friends Church, uh, obviously in Your Your Belinda, California, and um, this is his very first experience. As as you see him come into the screen, that's his very first time uh, searching this church. Uh, and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the video now, so you can see it in the still picture. And right over here, uh, I'm gonna put an arrow so you can see it. That's one, two, three, four. In the fourth uh, little, the, the, the crease here, or I'm not sure what to put, where you put the two chairs together between four and five is where the bed bugs are, all right? So they're, they're in there uh, about uh, four inches back and um, uh, he can't get to them. He can stick his nose in there a little bit, uh, but can't reach the bed bugs. So they're, they're inside this chair configuration. So what you need to understand is that now here we have a different environment with different wind issues you know um, wind not like you know hurricane wind but you know air movement i guess is the best way to say it air movements can be different because we have uh, different uh, air vents pointing in different directions uh, there's two doors there's one on each end of this of this room so with um, one door closed and one door open you have one configuration in regard to uh, air movement and then if we were to open up both doors then you have uh, different, and then if both doors are closed, you have different. So there's different air movement configurations that are happening as I'm opening doors and closing them, causing vacuum effects. And all those things are just awareness when you're training why sometimes a dog will find it very quickly and why other times a dog won't. So those are just things you need to keep in mind as you're doing training that you don't kick yourself in the butt because one day your dog finds it in one room and then the next day he doesn't. If you just simply... Uh, were to kind of pay attention to what doors are open, what windows are open, if the air conditioner is on, if the air conditioner is on. All those things are going to tell you why on one day you have great success in the same situation as opposed to another situation. So those are some of the things you just need to be aware of. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play. I'm going to stop and start like I like to do uh, to kind of narrate on, on one of the things that are happening. But for, just understand that this is very first time experiencing uh, this room and... Um, and we'll take a look and see what happens. All right, here we go. We'll push play. You're going to be able to hear the volume a little better. I just realized there was a, a switch that I kept keep uh, kept forgetting to, to click on so I can control the volume a little bit better uh, and so you can hear what's happening inside the room. All right, here we go. Oop, sorry, big head there. <laughs> Okay, starting from the seated position is one of the things I like to do. That way the dog knows we're beginning the search. And right away he begins sniffing those chairs. I, I, I'm really impressed uh, with this dog. This dog has no prior experience other than what we have been, what you've mostly seen on video. Again, uh, I, I don't videotape every moment. So what you see uh, is kind of each phase and then we do more searches in each phase that I don't record. And you'll, that's why you're seeing progress probably more so uh, at a bigger step because there's a few training sessions in between. But what you're seeing is this is the first time he's been in this room. So you see right there, he went right to the crack, right? And he turns around, looks at me. And again, because we're in a different room, oh, now he goes, oh, shoot, I was supposed to sit, right? And so, he, but again, what we're trying to teach him is that you can't have that. We need you to find the source and then sit. So now confusion sets in because in his mind, he found the odor and he sat, right? Well, we need him to find the odor, go to source, stay at source, and sit. So there he's on the fringe. But again, he gets up fairly quickly and fairly easy as it's that's that confusion. And this is where it's just is still beginning to come together. He, he's now you can see this tail is changing, his body posture is changing. He's now scratching at the location, but now he's thinking, well, maybe I'm wrong. But now if he sits, it's still going to be too much of a delay. So I want him to go back in there and nose it first. Again, we want to go from source location to sit. Still not talking to him. I'm waiting for him to give me something. I don't want him to get used to me answering all of his questions with, with some type of verbal uh, cue of some sort. So now I'm going to help him. He's just kind of frozen. He hasn't sat now. He's been to it probably four or five times. This next time he sticks his nose in there, part of training, I'm going to remind him to what he's supposed to do. Get that nose in there, and now you see a little, a slight little correction. Nice. I get, oh, and it fell out of my armpit. <laughs> but do you see what I'm doing there? It's uh, you wait for him. If he could make the decision on his own, that's even better, right? Uh, it does cause confusion, no doubt. That he went to it. He kind of later thought about the sit. Could I have rewarded it? Maybe, but I think again for me and for who this dog is. Another dog maybe would have rewarded this dog. I know. 
he recovers quickly from not getting rewarded. And he, he learns fast. So he learns fast by, oh, watch this, watch this. Again, good selection of the dog because that does not make him pee all over himself. He just kind of gets past it and not that big of a deal. Other dogs may have freaked out if that would happen to them. <laughs> All right, so I play him for, with him just a little bit extra longer uh, now that that chair kind of folded down. And, he's, and he recovers fast. So like I said, I've had other dogs that they will not even go back to those chairs. So that's probably one of the reasons why I decided to do it again because I thought that one, that one thing that I was able to do, connect the odor to where it was to a sit, uh, was good. But I think because that chair fell on top of his head, it's important for us to come right back and do another search. So now here he's kind of just, Good. again, still figuring out the game. I, start, I said search, and he's now still looking at me. What I probably should have done is started him in a sit, and again, he's getting used to that. There's the place where he knows where it's at. He smells it. I don't have a hold of the leash, so I can't give him help. Okay. Again, um, this is just one of those things where he's got to learn that it's all about that sit. Right now he thinks it's all about the odor. He smells the odor. He's looking at me for the toy. He goes, that's good enough, right? No. I need the sit, dude. And because uh, of change of environment, change of looks, we got to give him the sit correction, help him out, yeah, and then boy. give him the toy. Oop. <laughs> so we just remind him. So here you see I'm changing locations a little bit quicker. There was two. That was good enough. Now let's move on to another place. Uh, because he's already shown that he can't have success. And now what I'm doing is I've thrown in a little bit of obedience. Uh, what I did cut out here is about three minutes of obedience because... Um, you couldn't see me on film. All you saw was the dog's tail every so often. And it would have been pretty boring to watch mostly just those chairs. So here I'm trying to help him understand that his obedience is important. I need him to, when I stop, I need him to sit so that he's a, his right uh, shoulder is in line with my left leg. And I need that position. So we're going to wait until he does it. I'm, I'm helping him understand, putting his butt where I want it, petting him on the head. That's where I want you. Again, this is not the same thing I would do with every dog, but this is just one thing I'm doing with this dog. And because he's, um, this is how he learns. He learns well. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it for one second so I can show you where it is. So there's these handicap covers on these chairs. And right in here, underneath this cover, right about here. So the odor is going to be coming out here. So, and, and also the odor could be coming out through the fibers. There's no doubt about that. So if he smells it and takes a good whiff, of it up here somewhere on the on the fiber on the fabric then yes i'm gonna go ahead and give them the reward but for the most part odor still will hit little barriers here and there and most of it will come out due to gravity will come out here and fall to the floor so this is where the find is i'm pretty sure yeah it's pretty it's there <laughs> um uh yeah it's there all right so it's right inside there all right and it's only two vials so we got two vials in there so here we go here's plate Right, balancing the ball and get him to start searching he's searching the chairs that are to the right there out of film out of the film out of frame oh my gosh I like how he does that he just sticks his head over and like puts pushes his neck down he's doing a really good job of sniffing those chairs we're gonna get him to go in between those chairs pretty soon but again no sense of over uh, overworking him smelling the chair doing a good job Good. It smells it good, nice, good sniff. There you can see the change of behavior. I like it because it's above his head, which will, his butt is already almost in the down position as he goes up there and smells it. Nice. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that probably helped a little bit by having it up above his head just a bit and not down. So again, his butt is more going towards that direction as he sniffs up on that thing. And here I just want to take out, oops, I went to the wrong one. That's the right one. He did stuff the correct one. You can watch the replay. Those are the bed bugs. I just didn't, uh, I wanted to take them out so you could see that they're actually in there. Uh, I keep forgetting that, that um, sometimes I wonder what people think, well, how do I know there was really something there? Yep, there were two bed bug vials inside that plastic bag inside that uh, cover. And there's his plan. And there's how he did on his first day in church. Good boy. So this was uh, based uh, from this Facebook Live that you're watching this from. Um, uh, it's, uh, this was four days ago. I have another training session that I'm going to create a video for uh, once I get that up and running. 
Uh, that was from yesterday's training, and I'll show you how we progressed and did more. All right, that's it.